hey y'all welcome to another weekly vlog i've been feeling really good these past few weeks so i'm like maximizing this good energy and i feel like i've been pumping out some really good vlogs so y'all let me know how y'all been liking them a little constructive criticism down below let me know let me know um but yes yeah, so it is monday it's currently 3 30 yes i did not start this off this morning because listen while the good energy has been flowing and like all that stuff too i'm still kind of going through it like some days it's just like an absolute no for me so i just take my time on those days and listen to my body listen to my brain listen to my heart and i sit that behind down okay and i also was sorting out a bunch of returns that i'm going to be making too so i ordered a few things that just did not work out maybe i'll put them on the screen but um this like cute rat and boa top that was beautiful but it just did not look right on me and i also ordered these boots from shoots cute right they just didn't look right on my foot and then they also didn't have my size so i ordered a half size up and they just ended up being too big so we're returning those yeah um this is like a reverse haul kind of and then what else um the two pieces from cause that i don't know i just didn't really they didn't really do much for me or my wardrobe so i'm returning these two pieces and then also i bought a bunch of stuff from zara i'm not even going to put it all up on the screen but it was just kind of like basic stuff that i bought and i was like girl you don't need this like return it so i returned that and then i ordered some more cute stuff so that should be here hopefully tomorrow i'm also getting ready to go on a trip so it's like next week in the middle of the week so we got some time but i will be doing like a tiny bit of trip prep in this video too so yeah oh my god i didn't even say like my whole spiel follow me on tiktok instagram subscribe to the channel you know y'all know y'all know okay well let's tiktok your band then maybe just follow me on instagram i don't know got me some kombucha i finally ran out of all my kombucha i don't know if i showed y'all but i ordered like 24 bottles on um dang when was that i don't even know but i ordered like a whole case of the ginger lemon ones and then i um the tangerine and like blood orange one this is literally my last one i'm so sad but i love me some kombucha the health aid one is my favorite i don't know they just have a better flavor they also have different flavors too i kind of want to hop on the um is it poppy or olipop i think it was two different ones right i think it's poppy i gotta ask my sister which one that was because she let me try one of those type of drinks at her house and it was so good so i'm gonna see what that brand was and then probably order a case of that or something because i think that's also kind of like a prebiotic drink or probiotic same thing crazy um i washed my hair because my hair was so dirty y'all took a video before so i can show y'all um but yeah she was real dirty real disgusting so we had to we had to get that out of here like i wanted to do some like dirty hairstyles but it was just too dirty like the scalp was flaking up and everything it was just bad so um i ended up just washing it we'll try again next time I don't know what it was, but my hair got so dirty so fast. Like, my blow did not last that long. It lasted all of like maybe four to five days before it got, not even four to five days. Like, I feel like after the third day, she was oily. I don't know what that was about. Honestly, the only new thing I tried was sacred. So, I don't know um maybe it was the clarifying shampoo maybe it dried my scalp out all right sweet bun tutorial i don't know if i did this with y'all in a minute but it all starts in the shower and basically what i do in the shower is make sure all my hair is kind of like brushed back so this is kind of how i get out of the shower and i throw it up 
in a um, t-shirt or something to dry her out. Um, the reason I brush it back is because I want this part to be as flat as possible. And I can do it outside the shower, but once I do it in the shower, it makes it super easy to do it like this step that I'm doing right now. So then I dried it in a t-shirt because you don't want your hair to be too wet because then when you take it out, it'll smell really bad. I've had my moments. And <laughs> I'm gonna take some Eco Styler gel. It really don't matter what gel you use, in my opinion. Um, but this one just works the best for me. So just use whichever one works best for you. And you will take a lot. Like, well, I personally take a lot. But I just put it all over. And as you can see, since I brushed it back in the shower, it's already flat. So it's just less work that I have to do um, outside of the shower. And plus when you're conditioning your hair, you're brushing it anyway. So just go ahead and brush it back while you're brushing it. It's not like an extra step or anything really that you gotta do. It's more of a conscious thing. And I also put it on the back. One, because I have a bob. Two, because my hair is naturally frizzy. So that kitchen be looking crazy, okay? So now, I'm gonna take a hard brush. Um, I got this, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I really got this in like high school <laughs> and I still have it. Um, I believe I got it from Walmart or Target or one of the two, or maybe even a V stuff. I don't even know. <laughs> but um, I'm just wiping it off because it has some like product residue on it and I don't want that. In my hair, like I don't want the white flakes. You just gonna brush everything back, and you want a hard brush because it just smooths everything out. I'm being gentle. It's just this joint really be getting through my head. And I brush, 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 brush. brush. You can worry about the baby hair later, and do the same thing in the back. Brush, brush, brush. Okay, so this is the really only hard part like look you pretty much have it all slicked back just with your hair being damp and a little bit of gel make sure you get the back together the placement is up to you you can put it up here you can put it down here you can put it down here just brush it to wherever you want it to be whatever suits your face the best and you literally gonna brush your hair until you can't brush it no more like pretty much that's how i feel because I'm gonna tell you, I'll be brushing, brushing, brushing to get it perfect. Now I'm just forming it with my hands into a ponytail, kind of smooth everything out. I'm gonna take a scrunchie. Now I'm doing one with no metal. They don't even make them with metal anymore. Oh my god, remember those days where we used to use scrunchies with metal on it? Like, what's wrong with us? Anyway, this is like my initial round, honestly. I just do it as tight as I can and then I go in with another one and can you see what I'm doing? There's that. I pull it sometimes, sometimes not too much because you don't want your hair well to have a headache. We're looking pretty snatched now. I'm gonna take a little bit more gel. And since I have a bob, my hair is kind of shorter, so I do put this on the length of my hair try to get it all in there um usually i will use conditioner but i just want to use gel today you can use conditioner to do this um make sure it's like a thicker conditioner so it can actually smooth the hairs out um but i'm taking pictures possibly today so i want to use gel to really lock this in um I need to show you how it is. So, basically, take it, and while you're twisting it, you're twisting it around too. So I'm twisting the actual hair, but also moving the bun around. And if I feel a little loose hairs, I'll just kind of grab them, tuck them, do what I need to do. Take another scrunchie, and just. I will kind of do this thing, like smooth it down this way, so that I'm grabbing all the loose hairs and I'll just do it once or twice. Sometimes I have like these little pieces. 
I'll go in with a looser scrunchie and I'll just kind of control those. And that is how I do that. Taking my, got to be glue. This is really the only thing that's been working my baby hairs lately. I don't know, they've been extra stubborn. So I'm just gonna use this for my baby hair. And sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, I will take a little bit of, um, got to be and put it here. That's only if I really need it to not move and I need it to last and all that stuff. And then I take this little dual ended thing. I never use the combs. So I don't know why I got a dual ended one. I think that's all they had, but we're just going to swoop the baby hairs. It's giving adult hairs, but you get it. Mm -hmm. They like teenage hairs. <laughs> and I also have these little short hairs right here. Sometimes I will swoop them. Sometimes I'll just let them do whatever they want to do. Last step, I'll take the little brush side and I will go over my whole head. Try to do this before the got to be dry so that you put all over the top so that it doesn't turn like white or anything. Okay, so now we take a scarf. I got this from my sister. I don't know where she got it from. Probably the beauty spot store. And now we make sure that I have like these little frizzies in the front. Those are my real baby hairs. The other ones, these, they, they a little manufactured. <laughs> okay, so now we take a scarf, bring it around town, and we just tie her down until my makeup is done. And usually that's when it's nice and settled. At times, I will hairspray my bun. Only when it's just getting unruly and the hairs just seem to not want to stay tucked up or anything. You know what I mean? You know how your hair just be tripping sometimes. You got a place to be. You want to look cute. But your hair is being a hater. Sometimes I will hairspray the bun. So it does not move. It does not come out. But I got faith in her today. So don't disappoint me, sister. Okay. okay so now I can do my makeup. I don't know what makeup I'm going to do. But I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna pick out probably just like a simple outfit to shoot in, something real cute, simple, nothing crazy. Just so that I'm able to get content and I don't have to think too hard about it. Cause we're going to this hotel that a lot of the girlies been shooting at lately. We shot we shot there a while ago. Um this hotel aka it's very cute. Um, but it's just super dark in there, so I know I'm not gonna be able to get an outfit picture because I know my Feed is like very neutral, it's very light. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but um, right outside of it is where I took another one of my pictures before too. So maybe I could, I don't know. Anyway, um, it's very cute hotel, aka. So if you're interested and you wanna take some pictures, you can go there too. I've been trying to drop the gems around the city where to take pictures, because a lot of y'all have been asking me, how do you find the location of the shoe? How do you do this? I just be running across them. So it's all about remembering for next time, to be honest. Because when you run across something so random, it's easy to forget where it even was. So. Just finished my makeup and I'm trying this new Milani anti gravity mascara. It's in a brown shade, too. When I tell you, do you see these lashes? Stop playing with Milani. This is too good. I was literally on the verge of getting the essence. Mascara. Fun fact, I used to use that mascara like a long time ago. I don't know if y'all remember that, but um, they just came out with a brown one. I don't know if it's new, but it's been going viral on TikTok and I wanted to try it. And I'm like, I got a brown mascara that Milani sent me. It is so good. It's called anti-gravity, so I'm really hoping and praying that my lashes stay this lifted and they don't fall. Because if you know anything about mascara, it is pretty heavy especially when you put on a lot so it does make your lashes kind of fall a little bit but this wand is kind of cool too it's like i don't know it's like contour with the tip it makes it easy to like deposit the product onto your lash and then you go like this and you spread it out oh baby okay. still with okay yeah um yeah so you said you don't have the person's contact? Okay, so, so we got kicked hotel? out of the hotel. <laughs> Shayla. 
they can go to hell. Oh, we got kicked out. So now uh, we took a couple pictures, like outside and stuff. I didn't get to uh, take any pictures, so I was just over it. So now we're at Sister's Thai. It's right next to the hotel. We about to get some food. So say hey, girl. <laughs> you wanna stay? You wanna stay what it is because <laughs> we're headed back home. I got no pictures, literally none. I got like a little Instagram story. Y'all probably saw it, but um, if you follow me on Instagram, oh Jesus, y'all probably saw it. But yeah, other than that though, honestly, sometimes content days really just be about me wanting to see my girls. So I didn't even mind it to be honest. So I got, to saw, I got to see Shaylin and Ty, so that was good. I feel good, I feel like a little bit refreshed. I have therapy later. <laughs> so I'm really nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little scared um, because this will be my first time really ever um, getting into therapy because the first time I tried, I think I told y'all this a while ago, but therapist she ghosted me so I never actually got into therapy like I wanted to so this will be my first time you know I see a lot of people talking about actually being in therapy but I don't see a lot of people talking about like their first time going or how they're nervous or like how like all your feelings leading up to your first session and like all those things and like I am absolutely nervous <laughs> like not gonna lie um so yeah, I'm nervous, but I'm optimistic though. I'm very optimistic, I'm very open-minded. And honestly, it's like, I can't wait, but I'm still nervous, so. Really, I don't really know what to expect. Like, I just, I don't know. But I feel like it's super important to go into it with an open mind. But first comes self-reflection. It's like, okay, I had to sit back and be like, girl, maybe this might help. Maybe this might be really good for you. Like, you know, the, the stigma, first of all, let me just say this i was talking to one of my family members and when i told them that i was going to be in therapy their response was like not the most supportive in my opinion it was very like therapy like what you need therapy for you know what i mean like y'all know how therapy is in a black community where it's like we look at it and it's more so like like you must be crazy you gotta go to therapy and i always felt like when people would have those discussions about you know therapy not being i don't want to say accepted but just looked at in not an open-minded type of way i could relate so much because that's how my family kind of approaches it not everybody in my family but like you know the older generation stuff like that they kind of look at it and just be like what do you need that for like what <laughs> and the person that i'm talking about literally asked me like you know what kind of therapy are you um what kind of therapy are you getting and i said you know grief therapy meanwhile i actually think that this therapist is just an overall therapist but obviously that's my main concern and the response literally said well, what grief do you have like what <laughs> excuse me so that kind of put me in i don't know just like this weird space when it came to therapy because i'm like huh so if you grew up or are currently growing up in you know a family that just doesn't look at therapy with an open mind know that you're not alone number one but number two don't let that opinion of therapy put you in a place of um you know that now that you're now you're stagnant like now you don't want to heal now you don't want to work on yourself now you xyz blah blah because the people in your environment are looking at it a certain way like continue to stay open-minded continue to think for yourself and what you need is what you need and what you want to do is what you want to do like don't let it discourage you and for a moment i did feel like you know those comments were a bit discouraging and it was just a little bit a little bit disappointing but um you know i'm good now and i'm ready to 
go into it and do what I need to do. Just got done with my first therapy session. It was really good, y'all. Um, I feel like the first therapy session is always like, I feel like I've been filming in the kitchen for most of this video. Anyway, um, I feel like, actually let's go into the bathroom because I gotta take my makeup off. Um, the majority of first therapy sessions, I feel are always gonna be just like them kind of asking questions, getting to know you. So they aren't really like, super crazy like bawling your eyes out i mean that just wasn't my experience yet <laughs> but um i'm really excited like i'm really excited to i really liked my therapist number one because that's something that i was a little bit fearful of which is feeling like i don't really mesh well with her because that can happen so there's been something wrong with my eye i don't know what it is but it's just been feeling weird um you definitely can like not mesh with a therapist and that kind of scared me because i'm like okay i already had a kind of weird um like a weird encounter with a therapist like maybe a year or two ago so i just didn't want that to be my encounter so i'm excited that and really happy that she was very chill and she was younger Cause I kind of thought I wanted somebody older, somebody wiser, like blah, 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 blah. But no, y'all, listen, maybe you need somebody that can understand your language. Okay, I'm gonna take my makeup off with the Fenty Melt Off Jelly Oil Makeup Melting Cleanser. Looks like this. This is, I'm like halfway done. This is probably one of my favorites. My other favorite is the Elemis Pro, what is it called? The Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I was about to say the Pro Cleansing. <laughs> but those two really get my makeup off like perfectly. I just hate this bottle. Like I don't understand what's going on here. Here we go. Okay. And then when I stop squeezing, more comes out. See, I, the product is good, but y'all be trying to be too innovative with these bottles. Anyway. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let me move this out the way first. But I'm kind of happy that she's a bit younger um, because, again, I feel like she could understand, you know, my slang, like what a younger generation goes through um, and just how we communicate because sometimes older isn't always better. Like you think the older the person the more wise they'll be the more things they can try to teach you and blah 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 but sometimes you either need it depends like what you're looking for like do you want to be taught certain things or do you want to relate to somebody and for me kind of both but i feel like i can be taught through relatability so i was okay with choosing someone a little bit younger <sighs> okay Okay, I just rinsed that off. I'm about to double cleanse really quick. Um, with, I kind of want to use my Desi. This is the Canvas Gentle Detox Cleansing Gel. I really love this. So, going in with that. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, my therapy session went really good and I think, you know, the next time we'll really get into the nitty gritty and yeah. But I think I just wanted to share this because of the stigma around therapy. I feel like it's not always a bad thing and you don't always have to be going through the worst thing in life at that moment to have to sign up for therapy. Like, you know, most people make it seem so. I'm very optimistic and I'm proud of myself and I feel good about it and I'm definitely going to continue with it. So I'll update you guys, you know, probably a little later on, but um, I definitely just wanted to speak on it this time because I feel it's an important topic that a lot of us definitely need to touch on and highlight, but I feel like, you know, just speaking on starting it and being real and raw with my emotions about starting it was important because 
who knows it may help at least even if it's just one of y'all sign up for therapy after feeling like you've been a little nervous or you don't know you know what to do where to start a class here. and how did i find mine i actually did it my sister found it for me i'm not gonna lie so i can't even sit up here and be like go here and do that and do that like maybe i can ask her how she found this place i think she just googled it though honestly so just try to google around see how you feel you can even use platforms like um what is it black girl therapy no therapy for black girls i um found tons of potential therapists on there and shout out to my sister for being supportive and you know just doing anything she can to help me out and just you know during this time she has just truly been my rock like i can go to her literally about anything and she just gets it she has an answer she has solutions and if she don't got that she's gonna try to figure it out like i'm so happy to have somebody like that in my corner y'all my skin feels so good right now oh my god i don't think i ever took that much time cleansing my skin like i really was working the product in and I could just tell a difference. Like, look at my skin glowing and I just cleanse it. I haven't put anything on it. And she is just beaming. Because she clean. She's really, really clean. Usually, I, I'm not going to lie. I be quick to dodge. Like, and I feel like when I take my time, it's when I always get the best skincare results. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> About to tone my face. I'm gonna do this combo that I have been loving. Loving, loving, loving. So I'm gonna use the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration and Facial Toner. This combination right here, you all. Thank me later, okay? It has my skin back to where it needs to be because I genuinely think I messed my skin up by using products that don't match well together so i feel like my moisture barrier was like really messed up but i think we back y'all plus it was a winter time so you know how your skin already be dry um i'm using the fresh deep hydration oil infused serum um your skin already be dry during the winter time right but now you use two active ingredients that don't mesh well together. Girl, you are screwed. So, I think I messed my skin up that way. I'm trying to experiment, trying to do too daggone much per usual. And um, my skin was just extremely, extremely, extremely dry for months. And I couldn't figure out what I did. So every time I have a new product, I just plug it into Google. Like say if it has lactic acid in and I'm like, can I use this with this? Like what's going on? Do I need to switch it up? Can I use this with that? No? Okay. Well, we're doing something else. Like I'm not playing no games because I don't want to mess my skin up like that ever again. Part of me feels like I talked about this. I feel like I talk about things multiple times in different vlogs. And because I haven't edited it yet. I forget that I talked about it in a previous vlog. So now we're talking about it again. But if I've already talked about this, I'll just edit it out. <laughs> anyway, then I'm going to follow up with my Believe High Lucid Serum. And then also this Retinol from Natarium. This is a cream serum. It's 0 0.05. And you could just get this from like Target or whatever. But when you wake up, your skin is going to look insane, y'all. I'm telling you. And I really been trying to work on my scars, so I really need to start implementing a retinol into my skincare routine. I'm not having any, or oh, I do have a little bit of active breakout, so I'm going to use my Curology to knock those out. Because when I tell you this stuff, it really works. Like, it is actually crazy. Use a little hyaluronic. Get it up in there. So I'm gonna take some of this and put it on my skin. My camera about to die y'all, but that's literally the last step. Hey y'all, today's Thursday. I'm trying to push my way into Georgetown right now. Um, The traffic is just crazy. But low key, why would I think that it's smart to come to Georgetown at 5 p.m.? Just, just dumb. Just 
delusional but <laughs> i almost forgot that i really need to get some clothes tailored for this trip so i was like you know what i already know it's about to be traffic i already know it's about to be bad traffic too we gotta do it we, we gotta do we gotta do like we just gotta push through and um push my way into georgetown um they're not gonna let me over I just know nobody gonna let me over. Ooh, he cursing people out. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. Insane. But I heard about this tailor on TikTok, actually. And then one of my, um, the girls I follow, she posted it on her Instagram. And she was like, if you know, you know, like, she's the best. So I'm like, well, I got to try her out. So I'm taking her a pair of jeans and a pair of shorts. They're both denim. So I feel like if you could do denim for the, if you could like take the waist in properly for the, you know, Kirby girls. I heard she's also very quick with it. So I'm just wishing on a star that she does me well because the last person I went to, they really messed my pants up y'all. Like it was looking crazy. And the other lady I went to before that, she was good, but she was just too expensive. So I'm gonna see how much, um, it's called Miss Lee's Taylor. I'm gonna see how much she charges. And I'm, I'm gonna pay whatever she says, but like, um, cause I'm here. But, oh my God. I don't know, I feel like the sun is disrespecting this camera right now. Yeah, they're good. I wear heels with them. No. Yeah. Made it back in the car. That was really quick. And y'all, it was $30 per pair of jeans. Look, $60 for both pairs. Yes. And she said I can come pick them up on Monday. It's Thursday. Like, what? And she was so funny. I was, she was like, oh, yeah. Big booty. I know why you here. As long as she know. Period. <laughs> My car is on 18% because I forgot to charge it last night. Like a dummy. So, I think I'm gonna just go home. <laughs> no more moves after this. Oh my God. And also, there's a cat bird over here too that I need to go to like ASAP because this permanent bracelet, I'm so sick of this thing. <laughs> I like it, don't get me wrong, but I have a K charm on it and the K is like spiky. So it catches everything like when i say everything i mean everything can y'all see it oh no wait well i should have went to aloe while i was here too but see the k and how it's spiky right in between that top little like the k looks like this this part right here be catching on everything y'all i'm so sick of this thing like i just want to take it and get like a little diamond or something because this thing right here has been getting on my nerves for the past year <laughs> it's been catching on everything because if my name was like i don't know bianca a b is round so it's not going to catch on your clothes and stuff like that uh <laughs> that just really irritates me so um or maybe 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 i can find one in um this is so stupid low key maybe i could find one um on my trip y'all i'm in tj maxx look at this necklace right here it's so pretty i wonder how much it is and they have other little dupes in here too oh my gosh this is so pretty if i like pink but gorgeous 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 Oh, this is a cute bag too. I don't necessarily like the print, but I like the design of the handles and stuff. I'm really looking for something that I can wear. I guess this gives up where I'm going. I'm going somewhere warm. So I wanted to find like a cute little bag or something. Love this vase, it's so pretty. It's like a sage green type of color. And it's only like $10, which is crazy. I feel like at Home Goods, this would be a smooth like fifteen dollars. It's only ten dollars, and they have a small version. Oh, a smaller version. I kind of been looking for something like this to put my makeup brushes in. 
so this could be cute but i wish it was oh wait they have one back there i feel like this would be super cute it's only eight dollars why do i feel like tj maxx is cheaper than home goods which is crazy because they're basically the same thing they got some cool stuff but nothing that super stands out and i also was looking at some photo frames too but again they don't have much in here i really want like a black one I feel like my apartment is coming together. I just have like the smallest little touches to finish it. And then, you know, I feel, I will feel a little bit better about it. But now I just kind of feel like I have furniture and no decor. My skin is like beaming right now. I use the Belief Hyalucid Serum. Belief is that girl. I don't know why I stopped using it. I feel like I'm not really finding much in here. So I'm gonna go get some food, head back home. It's baby's crying. Let's go. I do corn and onions. And then the tomato and cucumber. And an avocado. All right, we got our kava for dinner. And I also picked up some juices from Pressed as well. I got, I think like three greens, three, two greens, four maybe. Girl, I forgot that, honestly. Oh, I got another apple, ginger, lemon, cayenne, y'all. So good. That's like my little treat one. The other ones are specifically for cleanse. So, green three, green three. And I think, yeah, two greens for, I think six. You get six for 30. So, I just always get six. And that'll be either I take them all in one day. Or I'll do like two a day or something like that. And just try to eat as healthy as possible. So, we're going to do a cleanse right after girls night because i actually decided to do a little sober streak so i'm gonna um cut back on drinking because sometimes i feel like do y'all feel like this you know you go out a lot and say you have like a long time without drinking right and then all of a sudden it's like everybody's birthday is oh let's go grab a drink oh let's go get lunch like oh okay a little cocktail won't hurt you know like i feel like i've had a lot of those moments or like events and stuff like that that have drinks at them and so now i'm like drinking a lot and i'm like oh okay girl you might need to slow it on down because i don't like how my body feels so i decided that i'm gonna do a little sober streak into my birthday so that's what we're gonna do and it's getting mocktails from now on <laughs> I was trying to be super super in and out because i actually have a meeting at 1 30 that i forgot about <laughs> so <coughs> oh excuse me i need to get back home but i also forgot that i wanted to stop by anthropology it's just so much to do it's so little time and i'm a little bit overwhelmed like when i tell y'all zara had zero like absolutely nothing and then oh i'm about to set this up so let's watch while i complain about the mall <laughs> um zara literally had nothing Ooh. oh it's stuck y'all oh my gosh and now the other piece i returned the coach bag y'all i'm sorry i disappointed you but return that thing oh my camera's dying returned it i didn't feel like selling it that just seemed like <laughs> too much of a hassle so i returned it and he was actually really happy that i returned it. he was like people call here every single day about this freaking bag and now i finally have one to sell and i was like well i'm glad i like i don't know if i did him a favor or anything but like yeah <gasps> oh my god it works did that shit just fall the fuck out? I just set the whole camera thing up and it fell apart. What just happened? Okay, I think I fixed it. It's a little crooked though. I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh my God. I know you see the new setup. It's shaky. Oh Lord. Okay, 
Okay, back home, I have a meeting in an hour. So I'm hoping I can tear this food up. I got the smoked Gouda turkey burger from True Food Kitchen. And then I also got the seasonal veggies, which they look really good. When you're thinking about how you want your video to play out. Mm -hmm. um, so with that being said, like they do want the product to be visible within the first two seconds. And they also want you to mention the name. To unbox my Byredo, Loki, I already unboxed it, but I wanted to show y'all which one I got. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know, but I got another Mojave Ghost. Look at the bottle. It just gives me all the feels. Now, number one, this is expensive. I forgot how expensive this was, but honestly, I just could not stop thinking about it. I loved it when I first purchased this, so it was time to get another one. This right here. It's definitely been one of my favorite fragrances and I'm so happy that I got another one that I circle back to it. I really just been trying to use up all the fragrances that I have just in my collection, but I just cannot stop thinking about this. So went ahead, pulled the trigger, especially for the springtime. I feel like it'll be perfect. So I am about to get ready for dinner. I'm tired, <laughs> but um, I really want to go <laughs> because it's at Spuglina where I had my... Um, my birthday dinner is so good, so I'm definitely going. <laughs> That's one of my favorite restaurants. So we're gonna go there for dinner. So for tomorrow, I decided to make a little beauty station. Mind you, these are all the bins that I have my clothes in that I really need to get rid of, like sell, all that stuff, but I don't have anywhere else to put it because I got rid of my storage unit, as y'all know. So we made it into a little platform. Um, so I just put some like white chiffon curtains on top and I'm gonna put basically a lot of the stuff that I get in PR that I'm not able to try. Leave it out here for my friends to pick through first and then after that I can make little giveaway bags to give to y'all. And I'm also gonna utilize the windowsill too because I mean, we gotta use all the space. So I'm gonna organize it probably by like body care, makeup, skincare, hair care, and then whatever else I had, maybe like a miscellaneous pile because I do have some jewelry. When I work with Bath and Body Works, they sent me legit the entire line of stuff that they released. So obviously I can't use it all. I picked all of my favorites out and so I'm gonna leave out some for the girls and I'm just gonna organize it by scent. So this is Champagne Toast. This can go here. You know, basically I kind of get where I'm going with this, so. All right, girls night is in effect. We got some wings, I'm gonna show you. I got garlic parmesan and hot wings. Also got some prosciutto, the girls love prosciutto, so do I. Got some gum. <laughs> um, some other little salamis and pepperonis. Olives, some bread for just everything. This fig spread that I got for Aaron's uh, housewarming slash birthday, that was really good, so I got it again for this time but i also got this whole grain dijon mustard and then also some pickles um we went to crimson lane vineyards and they had that bomb mustard right i don't know if this is really the same thing it don't really look like it but i got it let's try it and rate it one through ten okay but i also got this for the girls night because i've really been loving this wine this is the napa valley quilt um, Cabernet, so basically this whole concept is like to put the girls on to like the wine that you like and like, it's almost like a little potluck type thing. So I think it'll be fun, you know, little cakes winery, okay? Little wine tasting at my winery. <laughs> Except for y'all bring your own wine. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, all right. I gotta finish like cleaning up the house and stuff. I also have some packages to open so we can open those really quick so I can get rid of the boxes and like throw them away. Okay, first package is Finery. I'm excited because I think they had a new launch of a fragrance, so we're gonna try it out. I wonder what it's gonna be. They sent me two other fragrances. They sent me Sweet on the Outside and then the Cherry Scented one last time. Ooh, hold on, it's a lot in here. Oh my God, wait, they sent me like seven perfume. Oh my God, they sent me all of them. So these are all the ones that I got. Let's go through them. This is a lot. So 
So we have Madame, this smells like Cassis, Creme de Cassis, Velvet Auris, and Patchouli. We have Born to Impress, which smells like Pink Rhubarb, Damask Rose, and Cypress Wood. Don't laugh at me if I pronounce these things wrong, okay? Listen, I'm, I'm listen. <laughs> um, we have, what is this? Mysterious Nomad, and that smells like Bergamot, Black Pepper, and Hanaki Wood. Mmm, that sounds like it smells good. We have pistachio please, which smells like pistachio milk, fluffy vanilla, and tonka bean. I probably will love this one. Then we also have without a trace, and she smells like neroli blossom, cedar wood, and suede musk. I probably, I don't know if I like this one because florals are just not my thing, but usually when they're paired with like musky, you know, like made to be a little more masculine and not so sweet, I kind of like them. So we'll see. I also have the new Rouge. She smells like golden saffron, amber resin, and sandalwood. And then lastly, we have Mystic Figures, and she smells like Mediterranean Fig, Ocean Air, and Salted Sage. This is probably going to be perfect on my little vacation that I'm taking. It's giving generous queen. I don't know about you, but... <laughs> Um, literally all of this is for the taking and I have some like little bags here. I even have, I'm going to put some more canvas bags out because if those are not big enough, then I have tons of canvas bags. Like I get those so much. So I'm not obviously not going to use all of them. So they can use them to hold their products. So this is another look at everything. I tried to organize it. So this is all like hair products. This is like hair tools, brushes and stuff. Got some lashes over here too. Makeup is all right here. This is all skincare, y'all. Like, literally all skincare. And this is body care right here. So, that's the store. Oh, I was wondering what this was. This is my replacement phone. Period. Your girl got two phones. We got our replacement 13. She's cute or whatever. I'm still trying to debate if I want to keep this or not. Hold on. Why is it dirty? Why is it dirty? And y'all see me opening on camera too, so. If they need evidence, this gonna be the evidence. But do y'all see how dirty it is around the camera? Are you kidding me? That is gross. That is gross. Like, don't piss me off. This is a mask that I ordered, yeah, from Amazon. It's like a collagen mask and Part of me feels like I saw this on TikTok, but part of me feels like Amazon recommended this to me. Those are two places that you will get me to spend money. And this is like a little mask. Look how the look at the packaging. She's fire. So okay. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> look, I'm all off my game. So cute. So yeah, we're gonna try her out. Next package. We got another one. I don't know who this. Oh my gosh, it's Desi. Hey, Desi girl. So they sent me their mask on overnight mask. I guess it's like a, yeah, overnight moisture mask. I'm excited to use this. And I kind of want to bring it with me. Ooh, I like the packaging too. Her packaging is really nice as well, so. Both of her cleansers. I use the balm and I also use the, I think it's a gel. Gel? Gel mask? One of the two. That one's really good. And then I think this one is for a partnership. Is it? <gasps> no, it's not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all, look what Alani sent me. <laughs> they sent me some more cases of Alani. I love them. Looking like a snack. They have gummies now? Are these like energy type gummies or something? Okay, but what, like what's the purpose? Is it just good and low calorie or something? It's gluten free, hmm. Oh, they have fiber and they're good. Okay. And it says carefree snacking on the front. I have to look to see what these, like what do, what do these do? Fresh out the shower, we are doing our hair. Oh, the hair that we had left, honey, because I feel like I just want to cut it off. I just want to cut it all off, start all over, because what is this? Anyway, um, I got a wax earlier, Brazilian and underarms. 
Um, well, I got a wax, went to the grocery store, got all this stuff, and then got in the shower just now. Um, I'm using a few products. This has been one of my favorites, the Curl Charisma, the Leave-In Defining Cream by Briogeo. So good. I love that it has like a kind of slip to it and it's super lightweight, so I feel like my hair is never weighed down. Um, like, please look at this. So what is that? Anyway, I'm going to try out this Aveda Botanical Repair Bond Building Styling Cream. So, as y'all know, I'm an old black girl. So anything that says bond building, I'm here for it. I just hope that it feels lightweight. I hope it's not too heavy for my hair. It's really that tall. And it's supposed to... Ugh, this stinks. Like, it smells like a man, Loki, but not a sexy man. Like... One of them old men. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it y'all, but it, it do not smell good. Which is why I appreciate the TPH um, leave-in. I should have used that. But I'm running out. I need some more. This one right here. The Ride or Die Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. This is so good, but I feel like, girl, why is it not enough in here? It just smells amazing. So... I'm running out so i gotta bang it on the thing so i'm like this needs to come in a bigger bottle because i'm gonna use this up in like a week and it smells so good taraji girl if you are if you are listening switch it up babes this ain't it i don't know <laughs> this is irritating me this needs to be in a bottle like this, where I can pour it out of my hand and put it on my hair. And it's like a thicker product, so like, who thought putting it in a spray bottle was smart? It's so much left in here. Look at that. It's even more. Like, that's not even all of it. I just need a little bit more. Like, what the hell? It's 4.30. We're getting ready to have the girls over. Um, everything starts at 5. I want to see what time everybody going to get here, but I'm going to make a TikTok. So y'all can see what time everybody gets here. Um, now I need to start kind of assembling everything. I'll put my hair and I have it down. My little strands just did not try to curl up today. They have their days. Like some days it's like a wave. Some days it's completely straight. Some days it actually like kind of like they try to do something. I had a really good hair day in this one time. So I need to try to see. If I recorded it so I can see what products I use because my hair was popping that day. I know it's not on me, I like to get it popping, but these bitches in my business come me on to choose and violence. If you see me out in public, you don't know me, keep it silent. In the bedroom, I'll be screaming, but outside, I keep it quiet. You know, I'll stay on me, always so the lowest. But if you can keep it, then nobody knows me. I don't do press, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one you want to find someone on the app and you want to do your thing. Thank you. Uh, oh, shit. Shit. Ready? Ready when you want. All right, let's go. And you gotta explain it. Uh, Beyonce just redid it. Before I let go. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm uh, <laughs> Go, go. Uh, what's up? Oh, make that glitter eight. Go. Uh-huh. Oh. 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 Oh
I think Keisha got a song and it oh, go, um, uh, uh, I don't listen to it. Yes! Yeah! Oh, now hold on. hope that I got some footage or something because honestly I was just kind of zoned out having fun I didn't even know what my camera or my phone was half the time but I hope I got some footage or something I know I did when we were playing the game look at the gifting station y'all like almost everything is gone most of the skincare out of here this was the skincare right here most of the fragrances and most of the hair stuff as well and then most of the makeup honestly it was a lot of makeup here so it's just a few things left um so I'm gonna look at them again pretty much and see if I wanna keep them. And if not, then I'll put them all into a giveaway for y'all. I'm gonna use this Murad ID Puffer. I had this in my fridge. I think I did like one little small thing to like clean up, but for the most part, they did everything. Like shout out to my friends. Like they helped me clean up and stuff before they left. So I didn't have much, much to do. Um, I'm like looking around like, what can I do? <laughs> Literally nothing. Like they helped me with everything, which I'm so grateful for. Um, I'm gonna use this Murad targeted ID puffer. Y'all see my? I didn't mean to flick you off. Y'all see my eye? Like how swollen it is. And then it has this side. So the product comes out on this side, and then you have this side. It's like really cold once you put it in the in the fridge. And oh my god, it just feels so good. So remember when I said I wasn't going to drink after today? I won't, but I have so much wine left, y'all. These are all the unopened ones. We got a cab, a Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, another cab. And I don't know what this is. The bottle looks kind of cool though. I think it's just like a red blend or something. My little Palo Santo. I feel like it looked like a cigarette in the bag. And here's some of the wines that people did bring. This Folia dough. so good. We were trying to figure out how to say that all night. Um, this 19 Crimes Red Blend. I feel like it's still something in here. Oh, it is. And then, what's this? The Pinot Project. I didn't try this one, but there's a little bit left, so maybe I will. I don't know. I'm going to grab the other bottle so I can show y'all kind of the selection that everybody brought, just in case you want to know. Let's go through our empties. <laughs> this is my little recycling bin. Okay, so, what's this? We have a Matua Sauvignon Blanc. We have Stella Rosa Stella Berry. I didn't drink any of this. Not really my vibe, but the girls liked it, obviously. So we got that. We also have, what's this? Dry Creek Vineyard. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. So we got that honestly i didn't really drink much of the whites i'm a red girl so i drink most mostly reds um we also have a non-alcoholic toast sparkling white tea i really wanted to try that i didn't, I didn't get a chance to um the one that i brought um what else we got the show cabernet we also have manifest this is a chardonnay and then we also have lastly the critic this is a cabernet this one was really good i did try this one and then this is a i'm not sure it's called summer in a bottle oh it's a rose it was really pretty too the bottle was stunning so those are all the ones that 
we like everybody contributed and brought and stuff like that so if you're gonna try them out you know go for it I'll clean up just a little bit um like wipe down everything and then my house is pretty much clean for sunday because i cleaned for uh you know when i was hosting i'm gonna watch a little bit of pastor keon well not a little bit i'm gonna watch pastor keon and um I'm gonna try to get a pedicure today because that's really the last appointment that I haven't made yet. Headed to the mall to get our toes done. I got a pedicure appointment, so just wearing all black vibes, nothing crazy. A6. Um, I need to get another color of these, but they're just they come in so many colors. I'm I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's head out. Um, I have been. I was like folding, I was folding clothes. As you can hear, my bedding is in the dryer right now. So when I get back, I can make my bed. It'll be all set for the new week that I'm honestly not even gonna be here for, but it's okay <laughs> because at least it'll be nice. And like my house will be spotless basically by the time I get back. This little jacket is from H&M. I put y'all onto this jacket a long time ago. If you got it, you got it. If you didn't, it, you didn't, girl. Hopefully, maybe they still have it because it's kind of like a basic, so we'll see. I'm going to look online and see if they have it, but if they don't, I don't know what to tell you because I told you to get it. Like, I got this like two years ago, I think. Either one or two years ago. Okay, we're at the mall, y'all. About to park my girl Ori in one of these spots. I didn't know I was on 35%. I guess I could charge her while I get my stuff together. I also got here a little bit early because um, I want to actually try to get some sambas, some black sambas. I don't have no black tennis shoes, y'all. Like, none. So, I feel like I need some. So, that's what we're going to go do. <laughs> just hoping that I really like them because, like, I don't know. My feet. Stuff just don't be looking right on my feet, y'all. I don't know. We got our toes done. Um, I just began white toes, y'all. Nothing special, nothing crazy. Um, but I was having these thoughts, right? <laughs> Tell me why I was sitting in the chair. And I'm like, uh, I kind of want to switch where I go get my toes done. Like, it's in the mall. It's, it's, it's kind of, I don't know, it's chaotic in there. Um, and so I was like, hmm, I don't know what I want to do, right? She was so nice to me today. Like, I mean, she's always nice to me, the lady that I go to. Well, the lady that I go to, sisters, who I go to now. Cause the lady that I go to, her name is Apple. She's in Vietnam. She's like, girl, I'm leaving. So, um, she comes back, but like she goes every year. So anyway, um, her sister comes and takes over her clients and stuff like that. So she, um, pulls out this bag of stuff right and she gave me these beautiful little beaded bracelets from vietnam like what they're so beautiful Hey y'all, my hair is looking absolutely insane, but I'm getting ready to do my hair, so that's why I don't really care what I look like. Um, but uh, today is Monday. Um, today is also Poppy's birthday, so you know not the easiest day but um i kind of want to just throw myself into work so that's what i'm gonna do i'm getting ready to film a tiktok of me doing my hair there we go get ready to film a tiktok of me doing my hair um i have this cute style in mind that i want to try so so yeah, I'm getting ready to do my hair. I had my hair curly, but I slept with it looking any other kind of way because I knew I was gonna do it today. So I just kind of threw it up in the messiest bun, but not bad. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a spiky bun with a bang. So 
I feel like we could do that. This is another picture. Like, come on now, she's eating it up. And I also wanna film a makeup video today, like a little makeup therapy. I just feel like getting cute, doing something nice for myself, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna film my Amazon favorites tomorrow. I think I'm gonna film it tomorrow. I don't know, if I have time today, I will, but as y'all know, I use natural lighting and it's already like 1 p.m. So I feel like I'm not gonna have enough time, but what I do wanna do for sure is film the Chit Chat Get Ready With Me, so that's on the list today. Tomorrow, film the Amazon favorites video um because i can literally throw out one makeup and like show y'all products really fast and then after that i have a botox appointment for my underarms um and then if you know you know and then um the next day i leave so we got a lot to cram into the next like like today and then tomorrow literally the next two days but i feel like i can do it i can do it you know i had my moment this morning and i think now i'm just kind of ready to put my mind up to something which is work <laughs> so let's get to it um and it's also monday so i kind of want to start it off with a bang and be productive and all that okay the hair came out good i forgot if i showed y'all the hair but this is the hair this was my makeup but i'm eating now so i wipe my lip off but y'all y'all have to see the look i'm gonna post it on um instagram so y'all can see but i'm tearing up a little bit more of this charcuterie that's left over. I can't even lift it up. It's so heavy. Look at all this that's left, y'all. So, I've just been eating some of this. I'm going to bread a little tiny bit of the cheese, y'all. Just a little bit. And mostly the goat cheese. My alteration should be ready. She said Monday. So, it should be ready. But I'm kind of waiting until tomorrow. I have to go out anyway. Like, tomorrow I'm going to get my Botox. So, I'm like, I might as well hit the Botox. Hit the tailor. And it'll be earlier in the day, so hopefully less traffic, but um, she's in Georgetown. <laughs> Georgetown traffic is always bad. Yeah, I'm just eating some prosciutto and a little bit of cheese and just vibing out right now. Um, I'm also editing what I just filmed as well. And the way I was filming for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube all at once. <laughs> Let me move my bang. I did that, okay. Just came from the tailor, getting my shorts and my jeans tailored. They actually look kinda good, but low key, I feel like I could've did this myself. <laughs> she just folded it, but honestly though, it's kind of smart because usually I want a more like seamless vibe. And usually I like for them to hide the stitch under the middle belt loop. But she did it like this, which one they fit really good. As you can see, they're more tapered in the waist now. Um, but she just folded it like this. So low key, like if I ever wanted to go back to how they were before or like retailer them or anything, I could do that, which is good. But I'm hoping they stay laying flat, you know what I mean? Like, I wanna see what happens when I wash it. I wanna stop at Anthropology, return that bag that I got because when I brought it home, it wasn't as white as I would want it to be. Sorry, I'm on cobblestone right now. Updates, we are ditching that whole plan and just heading straight to the dermatologist because parking is crazy over here, y'all. Like, oh my God, it's insane and yeah i don't want to be late and then plus i also have to find parking at the dermatologist because yeah it's just like street parking i mean it's a garage over there but i don't like parking garages they just be charging too much so i always try to find um street parking Whew, that was a lot like i drove around a little too much for my liking so we're just gonna head straight there and then i should get there a little early so i can find somewhere over there to get something to eat possibly um four or five roasters their coffee was good and they have croissants too so that's really what i'm craving i don't know if i want a coffee or a matcha i never tried their matcha though but i really want a chocolate croissant so that's really why i want to go <laughs> i really want a chocolate croissant so i think i'm gonna get that and then see what else they have oh maybe i'll get like tea or something i don't know i don't know i'll decide when i get there 
my skin feels really soft i used um what is it called the dende skin strengthening my skin is baby smooth so that's definitely coming with me on my trip too um yeah driving around just exhausted me i might have to get me a little coffee because i just mm, i don't know what just happened <laughs> back in the car botox is done um hear me out i actually hate that setup <laughs> um like on my screen i don't know i like this angle better for some reason so i need to find something that's gonna go like right here knocked out the botox got my chocolate croissant that i've been craving and i honestly might save it for um tomorrow morning so that i'm not starving headed to the airport and i also got this shrimp salad from four or five as well i didn't get anything to drink but honestly i'll just drink water and i also have my green juices in the fridge at home so we just gonna do that because yeah that's what i need to be drinking anyway I need to be doing a cleanse today. So I think I am going to do my cleanse. But I'm going to just eat as healthy as possible. So that's a nice little healthy meal. Um, And yeah. I'm a little nervous because I feel like the lighting in my office is going to be terrible for filming. But we're, we're going to see. Let's hit the road, Jack. I'm ready to walk into my house like <laughs> you know that feeling when you just get home and you walk in the door and you're like oh okay everything's okay i'm not mad at it though because i did get a lot done but oh lord i just kind of want to sit down sit on my couch you know just enjoy my own space y'all just flew off the dashboard and now it won't even focus i need a new camera in general because there we go hey y'all um I need to knock out this to-do list. I have to pack. I have to film an Amazon favorites video. I have to, oh, therapy at five. I have, um, what else? Oh, I gotta go to Target and pick up some, a few little essentials. I need like gel, makeup wipes. Um, I think I still have stuff for my body wash, but we'll see. Um, I got a lot of shit in there. Okay. Here's a better look at the salad. I'm home and it comes with like a lemon vinaigrette. So this will be my lunch. Trying on Hazara order y'all. Most of it is a fail, but I gotta show y'all this dress. Where can I put y'all? Hold on. And I'll actually be out of town for Easter. I didn't even like put two and two together that I'd be out of town for Easter, but look at this dress. Hello. She's adorable. We can unbutton some of these. Sort of lit, popo, you know. <laughs> but this is so pretty and it has pockets, y'all. How pretty, it's belted at the waist. So I think I got this in a medium maybe. Um, but I love her, she covers up, you know, like the arm fat. This is a, mm, this is a dress right here, y'all. And it's actually surprisingly double lined for Zara, like Zara, double lining stuff is crazy. But this is such a good quality, fine but for zara like this is stunning so i have um you know like some brown slides a little gold bag maybe don't know yet this bag right or this one the gold one or it but i really like this one my hermes slides are the same color as the leather on it and then i ordered these um brown like bangles and stuff my Pedicures, like I said, gave me these bracelets, so this could go perfectly well with these. And also my nails kind of tie into it. What? I also got this skirt right here. It's like a knit skirt. How pretty is this? And honestly, this with just like a simple black tank top and maybe even some silver accessories could go well, but it's super duper maxi. It touches the floor. Y'all know I'm, I'm not a stallion, but like I'm kind of a stallion, like a little baby stallion. I'm five seven, so a lot of stuff just does not hit where it needs to on me sometimes. Um, and this actually reaches now. Hear me out, I think this is a dress low key, but the model also had it styled as a skirt, so 
I don't know, you could wear it as both. But this dress is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Also, another update, I actually opted out of filming because I just wasn't gonna have enough time. I didn't wanna rush it. And then also, I don't know, I was kind of feeling weird. So I'm like, mm, if my heart's not in it, if I'm not like super prepared for it, then it's just the filming process is not gonna go as smooth. So I could have forced it, I could have pushed it, but I don't know. I'm picky about that. Like, I can't like force my filming. You know what I mean? I have to be like truly in the mood, truly ready, truly like in it. And I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm like, okay, cool. I have way more than enough content to put up. I just wanted to put that up in a certain order, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, and I will film it when I get back. So I decided again what day I would get back because I never booked, excuse me, a return flight. So booked a return flight. Love me, love me, love me, love me.